Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to do a quick video talking about one of the most frustrating consumer scams in modern history and that is the scam of ink cartridges and their refills. So I've got an HP uh, printer here and as you can see um, it has decided that one of the ink cartridges have become depleted and is empty and therefore it is not going to let me print in any color whatsoever. So as you can see here from the diagnostic, it is the uh, the C, the cyan cartridge um, is depleted. So, well, what do they want you to do? As you know, what they probably want you to do is they want you to go and buy a new set of ink cartridges. So for example, I'll go to the HP website here and they want me to pay, look at this, $100 for four of these ink cartridges for the uh, three colors and one black. So, all right, a lot of people do that and they say, whatever, we'll just pay the money. But I got frustrated with this over, I don't know, you know, five, six years ago and I actually ended up buying an ink refill set for a lot less money. What does this say? 11 some dollars, $12 for a boatload of ink, which actually, if you come over here, I'll show you. Here's my refill set that I've been using for the past five, six years. And a lot of these are, you know, still look, look how full these are. <laughs> so this has saved me a ton of money um, on various inkjet printers. So I want to talk about how we can basically refill our ink cartridges uh, instead of buying whole brand new ones for exorbitant amounts. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so here we are back at the printer. Now, what you do not want to do is you don't want to preemptively replace and refill these ink cartridges. So in other words, you want to wait until the printer detects that one of these ink cartridges are completely depleted, and then we can start thinking about trying to refill it. So as you can see, in this case, it says, uh, like we said, it's the cyan or the blue. So for example, if you go ahead and hit hide on this, um, Yep, we can see that it is the blue one that's depleted. So what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and again, you can check that here by clicking on this button up top and then we can go click on the ink. And yes, as we can see here, the cyan one is completely depleted. So that's the one we're gonna replace. So let's go ahead and open up the front now, uh, once you open the front, you're gonna see here are the ink cartridges. Okay, and again, it's the cyan or the blue, so let's push this guy and get him out. Okay, so it is these HP uh, 962 cartridges, which we saw are really darn expensive. Now, what's interesting is you may need two sets of these. So this is the one that's empty, and you notice I've marked this as B, okay? The reason why is I have a second set of them over here, these are empty ones that I am using for this refill process. So you can see this is a same similar 962 um, cyan, but I've gone ahead and marked this as set A. So we're going to want to swap back and forth, back and forth, because the printer is actually, they've written software, I think, to make it smart so they know if you're trying to replace it with an old cartridge. So we are going to basically swap it with this one, which was used earlier but we are now gonna refill it. So again, let's leave set B over there for now and let's go refill set number A and then we'll swap it. So let's take this empty A uh, to another location where it's uh, a little cleaner and then we can go ahead and refill this uh, because this is a little bit of a messy process. So I don't wanna do this here in the office. Let's go out to the garage and uh, think about getting this one refilled. All right, so here we are set up. A couple things I'd recommend doing is getting yourself uh, some paper towels and probably wearing gloves. This can get a little bit messy. Um, so another little helpful handy hint is that coming in your ink refill kit, you know, you have multiple syringes. I like to write um, on each one of these syringes and label them. So I got my magenta, cyan, uh, yellow and black syringes all labeled. That way I can continually uh, reuse the same syringe and not get the colors all mixed up. So let's get our cyan syringe and let's go get our cyan color. And I'll go ahead and carefully take off the tip here. And yep, as you can see, this is why you need gloves. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Oh boy. And see the tip popped off. And this is exactly why you do this in the garage 
where you might not care about things getting wet uh, or messy. So let's get this guy on. Okay, and now let's take the refill. And all we gotta do is start sucking up some of this refill. Let me go ahead and open this up. There we go. Okay, let's get a good bit of ink in to the syringe. Okay, there we are. Okay, now for these 962 cartridges, luckily it's pretty easy. All you have to do is there's several holes you can see. We are just going to press the syringe lightly into this bottom hole down here and press down and you can feel it if you push slightly, it, 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 it's almost like there's like a spring-loaded little uh, seal that when you push down, it should open. Uh-oh, see, now this is a little bit tricky. But let me push down, there we go. And let me see if I can get the light to show. There you go. And I'm gonna start injecting. And as you can see, we're getting bubbles, so it is going in. It's again, not the cleanest thing in the world, which is why I think you want to do this outside. So let's just kind of continually get, see if we can get the ink in. And then I'm going to actually dab this up. Sorry, I'm, I'm making a giant mess out of this. <laughs> oh, uh oh, sometimes this thing gets stuck too. Uh, ah! All right, so let's just do this and uh, we'll be back once I get this filled up. All right, so here we are. We've got the refilled ink cartridge. I'm actually a little curious now to see how much does it weigh. So let me get a little scale out here and drop this guy on. Okay, so the full one is 45 grams. I've got a completely empty uh, yellow cartridge here. So let's go ahead and see how much that is. That's 26 grams. Okay, so about, uh, what is that, 19 grams of ink? Uh, so what is that, probably around 19 milliliters, something like that. So, all right, we've got this gun refilled, so let's go ahead and take it down to the printer and see if we can get it installed. All right, so again, here is the empty B cartridge that we just pulled out, and now here is the refilled A cartridge that we um, have refilled and now want to insert. So let's see if we can do that. Um, now, for some reason, the ink uh, drawers seem to have closed, so I'm gonna shut the door and open it up and see if we can get the, the carriage to come back. There it is, okay, so here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and reinsert this now into the cyan spot. Okay, and then let's close the door. Uh, oh, and see, I, I <laughs> great, I got an, a little ink smudge there. So um, let's go ahead and let itself check, and I will go and clean this off and wash my hands, even with gloves. It looks like I got everything messy. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, so now we get this little warning here on the screen saying that uh, the printer thinks that the cartridge we just installed might be used or counterfeit. Well, it's definitely used. I just refilled the ink, which should be totally fine. Some versions of this this dialogue screen might be asking you a question of, hey, uh, were the ink cartridge you just installed, was that sold to you as a new HP cartridge? Yes or no. If you hit yes, apparently what they do is that tells the printer that the cartridge that was installed was a counterfeit HP uh, cartridge, right? Because you said it was sold to you as new and it's obviously not new. So what they'll do is they'll lock out that cartridge from being used. So apparently in that situation, you need to say no, it was not a brand new um, HP cartridge because it's a cartridge that you refilled so you need to hit no. Um, so in this case luckily I don't think we have that issue it just gives us the option to hit OK so we don't have to answer a yes no question so if we just hit OK um, yeah it says yes this is a used or counterfeit cartridge that's fine yeah it's used I don't really care let's go ahead and say print. Okay let's give this a second and we'll be back. 
All right, so it's printing out a test page, but if you notice, the uh, the cyan here doesn't show anything. And actually, I also had to refill the yellow cartridge using this exact same procedure. So actually, both these, the cyan and the yellow, are not showing anything. Um, and that's because, for whatever reason, even though we uh, refill the cartridges, it doesn't think they're refilled. So for example, if we come here to home, and then I click on this information on the ink, whoops, yep, there it is, information on the ink, look at that. It still thinks that the cyan and the yellow are empty, okay? So I think we need to reset this. So uh, what we're gonna do is with the printer on, we are going to disconnect it from the wall and uh, do a reset. So let's come back here and we're gonna pull the power cord, okay? Let it sit for a bit and then we'll replug it back in and see if that fixes it. All right, so we've powered the printer back up and that still did not fix it. So you come here and it still thinks that the um, levels of the cyan and the yellow are empty. So we're gonna have to take some next steps. So let's jump over to uh, a computer that is actually connected to this wirelessly and take some next steps. All right, so here we are on the computer. So let's go ahead and start the HP Smart application to talk with the printer. And uh, I'll give that a second to fire up and get it a second to connect with our Office Jet Pro 910. And aha, look at this, here we go. Now we get this user counterfeit cartridge detected message here on the HP Smart app. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Aha, and now here is that warning we were talking about. So it said, right, the contents of the original HP cartridge have been depleted, blah, blah, blah. See, if you have just installed the indicated cartridges and you believe they are new original HP cartridges, click yes, otherwise click no. So do not click yes. If you click yes, they're gonna lock out that cartridge. So I have to click no to say that no, actually they're not new original HP cartridges, they're used ones that I refilled myself. So I'm gonna hit no, okay? And again, that's for the cyan. Um, let's see, uh, yep, uh, how are the printers, okay. Um, yeah, this is more, yeah, some just information about how the warranty might be warranted, whatever, or avoided. I don't really care about that, um, so I'm going to hit OK. All right, now, here's the yellow one, right? The yellow one is the same thing, right? They're going to try to trick you again. They're going to try to get you to click yes so that they can lock that cartridge out so you can't use it. So instead, I just have to say that no, they are not new original HP cartridges. Um, there's something I refilled, so I'm going to hit no again. And we're probably gonna have to answer the same thing. Uh, yep, here it is, okay, blah, 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 warranty, okay, hit okay. All right, yep, uh, okay. Oh, and I guess this, <laughs> this is an old message from when I installed the magenta and the black. This was a long time ago, so this is an old message, so I'm just gonna hit okay. Okay, now the printer says it's ready. Uh, okay, so let's go back, let's close this app. And let's go back to the printer and see if it looks different. All right, so back here at the printer, it still has this warning about the ink. So let's just see what it's complaining about now. Um, again, it says estimated color levels are low, uh, even though we said okay um, over in the HP Smart app. But you know what, tell you what, let's see if this thing is actually gonna work. So I've actually got this picture. Um, I've got a file up and it's just a, a rainbow sidewalk. So let's go ahead and see if we can print this. So I'm gonna hit Control P, let's print this and see what happens. So I'll hit print. Let's come over here to the printer. And uh, yeah, it's now, at least it's printing. It's not uh, yelling and complaining about it. So let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. That looks pretty reasonable. And uh, yeah, that sure looks like it's got all the colors of the rainbow and that looks pretty darn close to the, uh, the digital version. So, yep, okay. So I think we fixed it. So as you can see, it's, uh, um, they really make this difficult. So again, this is why I think people hate printer companies and their inkjet uh, scams, because they make this so difficult uh, and there's so many hoops to jump through. But as you saw in the video, if you just stick with it and do a couple of these steps, um, I think we can hopefully try to get around this inkjet uh, printer scam. So with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to catch you at a future discussion. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.